the NRM party is still reeling from its chaotic party primaries that left many prominent members losing to new political entrants. The party is also struggling to cope with dissatisfied party members whose disaffection is threatening to tear the NRM apart. Most losers in the exercise have rejected the results as grossly flawed and appealed to the NRM's electoral commission for redress. To say that I was rigged out is an understatement because uh, what you realize is going on is almost thuggery. I expect EC to announce some date for us to have a run. Chambogo University scholar Sam Andema believes the internal feuds in the NRM party are to blame and are a consequence of a system that has allowed divisions and discontent to breed internally over the years. What do you think led to top NRM officials losing in the party primaries? It's a culmination of um, both external and internal factors. The contradictions they planted by tolerating injustice and fairness among, them, among themselves and with other people is what has swallowed them today. Andema adds that widespread malpractices in the NRM primaries should be an eye-opener to clean up house. You know, for quite a long time, the rigging, the violence has always been meted on the opposition. And uh, because it was coming from the ruling, the ruling um, party, they didn't take it as a serious problem. But now they had to contest among themselves. And when they tested the bitterness, they came out to explain that uh, there is actually rigging in their own parties, which they used to defend when it was against the opposition. It remains to be seen what impact the result of these primaries will have on the fortunes of the NRM during the 2011 elections. With many losing candidates declaring their intention to contest the polls as independents, a phenomenon the party fought so hard to contain. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, tonight.